Happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to Food Fight Friday at the Aid Station with Adam Lee of Community Trail Running and me, Jason Bahamundi, your host. In Food Fight Friday at the Aid Station, Adam and I present to each other three food choices in which we have to choose which are we going to carry, which are we going to toss, and which are we going to eat, similar to Fuck, Mary Kill, as you can imagine. This month, I will be presenting to Adam first, which will give me the upper hand, in un or actually I should say give him the upper hand for next week when he presents three food choices to me. So this will be super interesting. If you have not seen any of our previous shows or listened to them, head over to the Everyday Athlete Podcast Network on Apple, Spotify, iHeart Music, Amazon, or YouTube Music to take a look at past episodes or head right to our YouTube channel to get that. Um, and so without further ado, Adam, are you ready for the three food choices for the eat, toss, or carry game? Happy Friday, Jason. I'm as ready as I ever am, my friend. <laughs> well, as you know, when we first started, it was like, what's the worst thing I can fucking think of to give to this guy to eat, carry, or toss? And then you turned the tables last month and presented three awesome food options, which allowed me to create uh, three awesome food options. So I've got three good ones, but they're going to be messy. And here's why. You are in the middle of a 100k trail run you're at the aid station it is high noon which means it's about 90 degrees fahrenheit somebody get a calculator out and figure out the celsius for that and you gave me kilometers at least <laughs> okay so the next aid station is uh 9.3 miles away so 15k <laughs> but it is gnarly and rugged terrain. So it's not going to be a simple, you know, get over there. It's going to take at least five hours to get from the aid station you're at now to the next aid station. And it's 90 degrees. And as you can imagine, what I'm setting up for is melted chocolate. So you're at the aid station and your three choices are a mint Kit Kat, a Nestle Crunch, or a Hershey with almonds. And these are not minis. These are full-on candy bars. We're not playing around here. You have to either eat one of these, toss one of these, or carry one of these. So I'll let you take it from here. Okay. And already I've been distracted. So I got Hershey's with almonds and I got mint Kit Kats. But I have, oh, K Crispy Crunch? Nestle, Nestle Crunch bar, yes. Nestle Crunch. Nestle Crunch. Oh, shit. Okay. So <laughs> haven't had a lot of those in my life, to be perfectly honest with you. I don't know why, for whatever reason. So that has like... <laughs> That has value in it in itself. I'm going to need uh, a mailing address then. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do one of those coming too. Uh, okay. I think I got to toss the Hershey with almond. And that's just because sometimes when I have nuts and butter, I burp. Uh, and I don't like the taste of it. So I can get rid of that and just not worry about it. So <laughs> fuck the almonds. <laughs> I think I'm going to eat the crunch bar right away because the novelty factor of it, I got to eat one of them. So I'm going to crush that while it's fresh and delicious, which means I'm carrying the mint Kit Kat and I don't really like mint chocolate either. So it's probably like, it's going to get real melty. I'm not going to want to eat it. And then I'm going to know I got five hours to go. So I have to fucking eat it. And I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> going to be like, I'm going to be jamming. Like it looks like just shit covered mint in my face. And people are going to be like, he's, he's so upset. Why is he even doing it? I'd be like, cause I fucking carried this. And I did this to myself. I made my choice three hours ago. Now yeah. I have to live with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Three hours from now, Adam, I don't have to deal with this. And now it's three fucking hours from now. <laughs> Chocolate is streaming up the side of your face. It's all over your hands. You're like trying to wipe oh, yeah. it off. No, you don't want to. Yeah. You'll be like, you'll be six pounds heavier because you'll have that many ants worth of like, <laughs> on you while you roll into the next aid station. I uh, should write down my scenario because I did mean to tell you that you don't have like a gator or buff to wipe your hands or clean your face with or anything. You don't. I don't. <laughs> and you, you don't deserve and it. Desert. There's no water to wash your face in either. <laughs> Just make it all. No, it's 90 degrees. You're drinking all that water. You can't waste that shit for washing your face. So, yeah, that's going to be that is going to be a rough 
go to go in between. But you know what? When you see the next aid station and all those people smiling and cheering for you, you can't be a dick. So you have to roll in there and be happy. And I bet you there'll be something better than just pure chocolate waiting. So that's what I'd have to tell myself as I have a moment on the trail. Have you ever been on a run where you've had, where you've been carrying chocolate and it's just like you reach for it and you just, it automatically just feels like just liquid and you know, this is going to be awful. I've had a few runs of chocolate and just other various things too. We're being requested to talk about soccer. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, soccer. <laughs> Madrid forever wants us to talk about soccer. I don't know if it's going to happen, Madrid. I think within that five hours, my mind might go to soccer at some point because I'll be <laughs> thinking about anything and everything to not think about the fucking mint chocolate in my pockets. <laughs> Like, oh. I, was, I carry the mini Snickers oftentimes when I'm running out on the trails. And when you're in the middle of a race and you're like, oh, I can't wait to have that little sugary sweet taste. And you pull it out of your vest and you just grab it and you could just feel that it's just all, you're like back in the vest and wait till the next aid station, throw it out because you just know that if you try to peel that open, there's just going to be chocolate oh, everywhere. Bad. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking for a challenge and a distraction while you're out there, maybe, but yeah. Maybe, it's... <laughs> maybe if it's like a January race in Vancouver where there's snow and you can wipe your face off a little bit. Sure. But like in the desert, no shot, man, no way. No, in, in any off season race here, it won't be cold enough anyway, unless it's not like pressed against you, it'll be good to go. So yeah, that's like, yeah, I've carried a few things over the years where you get it out and you're like, oh, this was a bad idea. Like, I, it looked really good before I left. And then and now I've seen that the execution does not work. <laughs> Shout out to Seven Summit Snacks and their chocolate. I've had them in the back pocket of my cycling jersey for my last two rides. And I've been out there. It's been 90 degrees, hour and a half. And it's still fairly solid. But even though it has melted a little bit, it's not liquidy. It's like you're not like pouring it in your mouth. It's just a softer texture. So for those of you who are getting out there yeah. and want chocolate, use that. Yeah, yeah it's good totally. Shit. You pull it up the tube kind of thing. It works yep. good. Yep. Uh, now, so if we flip this back around on you, because you can't pick seven stomachs because you didn't give me that fucking choice. So what, <laughs> what chocolate bar? <laughs> I've spent way too much time over the last 48 hours contemplating this, by the way. It's like way too much time. So I'm tossing the Nestle Crunch Bar. Um, and the reason why I'm tossing the Nestle Crunch Bar is because I don't want it to melt and just have like those little rice, uh, crispy rice pieces if I was going to carry it. And it's not as good as the other two options for me to eat it right away. I'm going to eat the mint Kit Kat right away because I just love mint. And I'm figuring if it's 90 degrees when I leave that aid station, it's what, 90 degrees when I get to that aid station – and so that mint refreshing feeling is, is something I'm looking forward to. So I'm going to eat the Kit Kat and I'm going to carry the Hershey almonds. And there's zero doubt, zero doubt that it's going to melt within the first five steps of getting out on the trail. But the way I look at it is if I peel it open, then the almonds are there and I could kind of like eat the almonds out of the chocolate while holding the wrapper. And now it's going to be all over my face. Don't get me wrong, but at least I'm getting some fat and some calories out of the nuts and I've got, you know, five hours to the next aid station, so I'm going to need some calories anyway. So that's that's the math I'm going with. Um, none of it makes any sense. Like, this is the most ridiculous podcast um, in the history of podcasts. That <laughs> and you're saying all this, and I'm like, you got to be careful with those almonds, though, because of the protein. Like, it's going to be hot out there. <laughs> you might get the almond skins in your teeth, dude. You don't have dental floss. <laughs> Like I'm living this out for real in my brain, yeah. you know. Oh, you're absolutely. As you're talking, I'm envisioning myself on a trail. What if and replaying my choices in my head before I let them out? I was like, maybe I should change it up because he's got a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make the right choice, like because <laughs> yeah. you know, otherwise somebody might come on our uh, comment section and tell me what an idiot I am for wanting to choose the uh, Hershey with almonds as the, as the package I'm carrying. Yeah. You moron. Talk about soccer. <laughs> <laughs> now, if the soccer players were carrying chocolate bars while they were running around out there, <laughs> that would be something. And it might make the game fun. It <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, man. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Friday, and we'll see you uh, actually in a couple of weeks, not next week, but the following week, I believe. Yeah, that sounds great. Now I got to come up with my choices. Thanks so much, Jason. Fun as always. You got it, brother. I'll talk to you soon, man. Have a good one.